So, so got this wonderful little chunker Tucson here. It's a TS349 in D2 steel. Got this first one here. It's titanium with micarta, brown micarta. It's on both sides. It's got a good pocket clip. It's night morning design. TS349 and D2 steel. It's got this, uh, I don't know, is that a bolster lock? Let's run it. Yeah. It's a flipper tab only. Front flipper. So, may not be that popular because I know there's some people that aren't looking for all of that, I guess. But, got this full titanium version here that's been anodized. And, I had a green version at one time too. And, the green version went out for a gift. And, oddly enough, this one's got a satin finish, and this one's stonewashed. How about that? It's kind of weird, right? Two different finishes. It's got pretty good action on both of these knives. That front flipper. Not quite drop shut, but a couple of shakes, and it's home. Good lock up on both, you know. Over 30%, creeping 40% maybe. Yeah, nice in hand. This one's got these vertical or, yeah, vertical lines, horizontal lines. I guess it depends on which way I hold that, right? I don't know. But, yeah, it's got a nice sort of a texture there. I will say this one's, these edges on this one, with on this titanium one, are kind of sharp. And not on this one. This one's a little, not quite as harsh. But this one's got titanium liners. Yeah. The jimping is really nice all the way up. Comes over the top. Let's talk about, uh, so that the action on both is, is really solid. It's not quite drop shut, but... But man, it's close, right? Um, opening. I guess with all front flippers, you just find that find that sweet spot. And if you get there, it's going to go. All right. Grip. It's a small little chunker, but I can get a four-finger grip on there. Really solid. I mean... That is a that is a solid grip that I could absolutely do some slicing with. Um, it allows for that thumb forward. The jimping's fairly aggressive, but it's kind of shallow, so it's got some bite. But you could go you can go thumb forward with this, get some work done with it. The micarta is awful nice. It's not powdery, but it's good micarta. I like it. That grip, I mean, to wrap that up, there's not a lot of other options there. You're gonna, you're gonna go here. There's no choke up, uh, choking up here. There is a sharpening choil cut in, so that's pretty nice. You're gonna get, I mean, you probably sharpen this thing till the blade's gone, just because of the way that that's put in there. But realistically, you're gonna get several sharpenings on this. Yeah. Pretty nice. Got a lanyard hole. The reason I'm doing these is because I did a little short video. This was one of the first videos I did. And I just did a little short video. And the knife's nice enough that I felt like to do it justice, I should uh, do a real video on it. This one's acoustics are a little better. Kind of tings when that, when that closes on this one. But we all know my carta is like a muffler. <laughs> it will it will deaden the sound for sure. Yeah, let's check. Uh, let's see. Let's check that pocket clip. I'll go ahead and set this one over here, and let me get.
get this one closed. And yeah, let's get those shorts down in there. That famous, that infamous triple stitch seam. Let's see how it does. So it definitely goes in. It's not having any issues going in, but it's narrow. So the space in there is pretty small. And so on these thick pants like this, they go in, but they are definitely bound up in that in that small clip. Yep. I mean, I'm going to say that they're still kind of one-handed, but they're going to like those thin pants a lot better. Which, they're not thin. That's probably as thick as some jeans, you know. Yeah, no worries. Runs perfect on normal pants. On the thicker pants, it still runs, but it's definitely, it's giving it all it can. Um, fairly deep. Small profile sticking up there. Just on principle, let's make sure there's not any differences here. Yeah, this one runs even smoother because of the polished titanium. It's not, doesn't have this rough textured micarta. But it still has the same struggle. And that is, it's narrow. There's not a lot of room in there. It's going to go in here like butter. Yeah, that's money. In and out. Easy. Yeah. What else did I see? I noticed while I was doing that, that there's quite a bit of milling on that pocket clip. I'm going to jump down and show that. Of course, obviously, there's milling all over this titanium. Yeah. Uh, let's run a safety check on it real quick. Just to be sure. See what's going on. It's got uh, internal stop pins in there too. That's kind of a cool feature. It doesn't have these stop pins that are wedged in here in between the scales. Uh, it's actually a cutout. And those internal stop pins rotate. And... Yeah, nice. Both of them are solid as a rock. Let's check that safety. Can we get that tip? Can't get that. Can we touch it? I hope not. Oh, man. Yeah, so just laying my finger on there, I'm making blade contact. So if it's in the pocket and you reach down on this side, you could cut yourself. For sure you could. Yeah, for whatever reason, if you, with this knife closed, if you got your finger down in here, I'd say you could you could absolutely 100% be cut because I'm just just touching my finger right there and I feel that blade in there. So if I went at that with some force, it would cut my finger, especially on a sharp blade. So yeah, so the tip passed, but this uh, uh, blade exposure on the back it's a fail. All right. Um, does it cut? All right, I got my tiny piece of paper. Let's go, man. Don't let me down. Yeah, that one's pretty sharp. I don't know. Am I risking it? <laughs> Should I check this one? Or just call it good. Yeah, I'm not scared. Let's go. I mean, when they're that sharp, you gotta feel pretty good about it. That's a nice little chunker. Both of them. And, uh, I, you know... I'm going to say they're both pretty reasonable EDC knives uh, for work. Definitely the stone wash, but then it's got, you know, the stone wash is actually the, the polished up titanium. 
the satin is on the micarta and the natural titanium but is that a work knife i mean for opening boxes uh, cutting stuff i mean both of these are just awesome little chunkers that afford a really nice solid grip and could absolutely get some work done no question about it um how about that? Or no, wait. I don't know. I'm backwards somehow. But uh, price and availability. I paid like right at $60 on an eBay auction for the titanium. And I paid a little over $50 for the micarta version. So they were kind of the same price. I haven't seen these in a while. So... I'm not sure if they're available on White Mountain. Um, let me think about that for a second. Uh, yeah. So I think they are available on White Mountain. So this one's probably like right around $72 on White Mountain. It's currently available. And this one is going to be between $85 to $90 on White Mountain. Both of them are available, and that's using a discount code, which you'll find down below in the notes. So, yeah, there we go. The TS349 and D2. These two are available. The green is not, and the plain titanium is not. So these are the two that are available. So, anyways, appreciate you watching, and if you could, hit the like and subscribe. Support the channel. I appreciate you. Thanks.